Welcome to New York City and beautiful Times Square. Today we're taking a whack at utility computing. Joining me on the show today is Rob Bissett from Six Fusion. He's the Chief Product Officer. Welcome. Thank you for having me. I asked uh, Rob to join me here today because I believe that Six Fusion has a novel and a bit disruptive concept, an idea, and I wanted to bring this back out to our community. But let me frame it with a problem first. For me in my career, it's always been very difficult to go um, explain or demonstrate the value of the infrastructure services that we provide, say to our C-suite, our CFO. We're giving these services, but uh, is it really the right thing? Is it the right strategy? Are we paying the right amount? There was no real way for me to go back and say, yes, we are compared to this. So enter the KWAC. Mm -hmm. Can you explain to me what that is? Uh, it's a workload allocation cube. It's a standard unit of measurement that um, Six Fusion developed to create uh, a measurement of how much compute mm -hmm. you're consuming. Um, it takes in six metrics. It's the same six metrics that every application is going to consume uh, in variable ways. Uh, CPU, uh, memory, storage, right, as the, um, as the standard compute metrics, mm -hmm. and then a disk I.O., LAN I.O., WAN I.O., so the data that's being passed back and forth between the disks and the, the local and remote networks. Mm -hmm. um, with that technology, then, we can start to quantify how much do you have, how much are you using, and what is it costing you on a cost per unit basis. What really differentiates what we're doing from what organizations are doing internally today mm -hmm. is the fact that it's standardized uh, across the industry, mm -hmm. right? So it's, it's vendor agnostic, technology agnostic, enterprise agnostic. And what that does is it creates comparability. Sure. It solves the problem you referred to where you can start to identify how much you have, how much you're using, what is your cost basis, sure. and then you can show the value of that compared to the other right. options available in the market. So give me an analogy. What's another industry that has something similar to this? Yeah, the, the, the analogy we like to use is to talk about the electrical market. Okay. Um, in the early days of the electrical market, you know, every, every uh, factory needed power to operate. Yeah. Um, so they, they developed electrical generating stations internally that were very specific to what they were doing. Um, over time, companies got really good at it, mm -hmm. and they started to do that as a service for their sure. surrounding areas. Um, and in doing so, they had to develop technical standards, as we saw in computing, sure. um, you know, to, to standardize voltage and amperage and cycles and phases yep. and all that yep. stuff. Um, that created an economic problem. And the economic problem is, um, how do I know how much my customer is using? How mm -hmm. much should I bill them? And then on the customer side, how much am I paying for my electricity? Sure. Should I do it myself? Should I buy it from Dean? Mm -hmm. Or should I go buy it from somebody else? They needed a standard they unit. They needed a standard unit to define how much. And ultimately, everyone now depends on the utilities. And they expect when it plugs in, it works. Exactly, exactly. So let me, let me take that analogy a little bit and explain why I think that the KWAP will solve the problem I opened with. If I have a standard unit of measure for the computer infrastructure and services everything that I'm providing, it's a fully loaded unit measure. Mm -hmm. I can now do a market comparison. So today, it costs us this and we provide these services. What if I did this on Azure? What if I did this on Google Cloud? What if I did this on AWS? What would that look like? What are the cost comparisons? Mm -hmm. It's a quantitative comparison. It's not a qualitative comparison. Correct. And it's not someone's opinion. Correct. So I believe that that actually works out really well. Yeah. So um, if this is the case, this sounds very simple. Why hasn't it been done already? Well, you know, in the old days, before we had the internet, before we had the cloud, IT was really almost a side department. It was very uh, small line item in the CFO's overall budget. It wasn't yeah. material to the bottom line. The emergence of um, high-speed internet connections, the emergence of the cloud industry that came from that, and the um, emergence of digital business now, mm -hmm. IT spend is growing at a high rate. Yeah. It's very material to the bottom line of the company, and as a result, it has a lot more scrutin scrutiny yep. being applied to um, how efficient are we being with it's that visible. spend. It is very visible, um, and as a result, you know, the, the, the mm -hmm. people behind it need to justify the, the right. investment. Right. Yeah. And bottom line, we need to standardize this so we have something to compare. Exactly. And we have to pick a measurement and we refer it to actually work. That's exactly right. Excellent. Well, hey, thank you for joining me on the show. I appreciate you coming. No problem. And I would suggest if you do not know what your KWAC measurement is for your infrastructure or the services you're providing, find out before someone else finds out for you. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more episodes. <laughs>